September is observed annually as Suicide Prevention Month. This year it was commemorated under the theme Creating Hope Through Action. During an appearance on NTN's Morning Update, Naomi Grandison, Family Life Educator in the Bureau of Health Education, revealed that many St. Lucian families are affected by suicide. Based on 2019 statistics, St. Lucia's suicide rate stood at 7.9 per 100,000, well above many countries in the region. It goes to show that, for me, this is my personal opinion, that there is something wrong. There is something that we need to shift. There is something that needs to change. Because the overall statistic world, worldwide is 100 out, 1 out of 100, and that would be about 703,000 deaths by suicide. So it, it shows that one, persons are suffering uh, with mental health challenges, with um, coping skills, with hopelessness, with services, inadequate services uh, to deal with those things, with, with the heaviness of the impact of stigma, which is the, you, I don't want to deal with you, cast you on a side for want of a better word, or feeling that you would be judged or not given certain privileges if you work and otherwise because you declare that you have some sort of mental health problem, even if it doesn't mean that you've lost touch with reality, or even if it doesn't mean that you're psychotic. So herein lies the problem. It doesn't always have to be somebody who is severely depressed to commit suicide. It could have been a spur of a moment thing. But for the most part, there are signs and, and, and persons are suffering. St. Lucian artist George Senqua, best known as Platinum George, shared his experience managing depression and suicidal ideations throughout his life. He said that after years of constant struggle, he found solace in God. Senqua is now using his experience to assist others. Going through the music industry made it worse again in terms of now I'm investing in music but yet still I'm not getting any returns. You know, then you, you would see that I have a family to maintain, I have bills to pay. Then spending a whole bunch of money and you're not even making half of this. this it basically had me on a cloud of darkness. My transformation came through, I got invited to church. <laughs> you know, imagine I'm the kind of person that I always go to church, no matter what, no matter what denomination, you invite me, I would go. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not that kind of person who's picky in religion, because I am trying to get that, that emptiness filled. Nurse Grandison indicated that mental health care plays a pertinent role in combating depression and decreasing St. Lucia's suicide rate. I want to say that, again, the skills building, the love for each other, the learning how to communicate, the learning how to um, um, get help, knowing where to go to get help. You, mm -hmm. you understand knowing how to love yourself is all part of what can help to mitigate the, the actual completing of suicide. Even if some people may be a passing thought, other people are haunted with it for a very long time. So I just want to add to that, if we can skill build and encourage our children to build certain skills and let them know the importance of communicating, expressing your emotions, similarly to brushing your teeth on the morning, clothing okay. yourself, bathing. You need to be able to communicate and mm -hmm. talk and offload. It is a part of your overall well-being. And I think that can help to avoid. And I think in our society, I just want to say this, and again, this is my personal opinion. In our society, we're just too judgmental. And being judgmental is extremely toxic. It's like, like um, St. Kwa was saying, you're an alcoholic and you're drinking more alcohol and you go in the places with more alcohol. Then you have somebody who's, who's sick, maybe depressed, or somebody who's suicidal, and you're feeding them poison. You're feeding them poison with your judgmental attitude that, oh, you do not love God, oh, you're crazy, or oh, whatever. And it is, we think like that because we don't know better in some cases. We think that it's going to help the person to change, but it only serves to bring a person deeper into that pit.